Right, this video is dedicated to my most ardent subscriber, Joe Sedgbeer. And that is, I hope that's your real name, Joe. And if you are, you've got to be a folk singer. Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, it's Joe Sedgbeer. Anyway, keep asking about me loco. This is the loco that was featured in my first Steam vid. Whoops. Here it is with a big old ledger weight, sea fishing ledger weight, to hold the tender down while she's motoring along. This is the loco, you know all about that from the other video, but there is one job I'm going to do, and that's this here. This here control. I'm going to pull that rubber thing off, and I'm going to extend it out here. It's going to look silly, but I'm going to put it out there so that my grandkids can stop and go make this stop and go without burning themselves because as it is at the minute all they can do is watch it and I have to do it with my gloves on so if I can extend that they can start it and stop it might do something with the whistle as well but because they can't get to that but I want the kids to be able to play with it that's the idea anyway going on to these trucks I keep going on about I bought these two from an antique shop I wasn't going to but I fell in love with them. So we've got a guards van with little doors on. And this Trinidad Lake asphalt. Woo! So the kids can play with that as well. I'm not sure they're going to run very well on this track, but that's them. They're okay. Then this batch of stuff I bought off of eBay for a fiver. Or and I got five trucks. They're the bodies of some of them. Chassis. Another chassis. Some more bits. A dumper. Another bit of an older longer chassis. And another chassis. But this one I've started on. This is I've done me turning look. And all it is is basically Dead simple turning, and I took the dimensions off of there. No, I haven't. It's smaller than that, isn't it? Where I took it from. I don't know. But anyway, it works. I forget where I got the dimensions from now. God blimey. Anyway, so it's dead simple turning, and then a simple axle, and they're not joined. It's just freewheeling. And there you go. So there's the two. And my grandson's coming around in a bit, just stay for a few days and I'm going to get him to turn up the axle. Because that's what you do with your grandchildren. Now, before I got all that, I got this. And this runs in a tray for safety. And my grandson who's coming around made this a few years ago. Just a bit of, because we haven't got a burner for it, so it's just a bit of material and a bit of sheet steel mackled up so there's your burner it also didn't have a piston and I took it to my mate I didn't have a lathe at the time and I said can I borrow your lathe and he chucked a bit of brass in the chuck and in two minutes we had a piston I didn't even have to do it myself and that the grandchildren love that I bought it cost me about 17 quid I think off of eBay and I had to bought a, buy a safety valve for it which I did fired it up and it worked. I think it was a bit skew but it got it going. It works a treat. So they love that. Then I went into another antique shop because I can't resist antique shops and I found this. This was about 50 quid and it wouldn't get knocked down but for 50 quid I got this here. And the grandchildren love this as well because they can chase it round. And that works. Now that didn't have a safety valve. So I just got the one for the two. And it didn't have a filler plug. So that's just a thing with a rubber ring around it. That screws right in. It's got a whistle lock. And of course we use the same burner. And off she goes. You can get a cover for there, but they're expensive, and who wants that? The grandchildren can play with that. Oh, it comes with a 
there's a spring in there that you pull out and put around there and away she goes so that's a bit of fun and then whoops put that away put that in there and then I've got this here which is a set of castings for a Stuart Turner what model is it? S50 I think which I've started to do but I've left you can see I've machined that and that there are a bit more to do there I've machined that have I drilled it? I don't think I've drilled it but I've machined it uh, I've obviously machined that that's nice and oily and then there's all the bits in there to do that so no progress on that but what I do 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 is I have this and I took the plans and I blew them up so you get the plans and then I blew them up in bits so that I could concentrate on each bit rather than have a full set of plans and try and do it so I just use work on one bit at a time decimal equivalent drill sizes and I think that's about it you might want to ask me what that is Whew, you want to see the other one or one of the other ones Right, my grandson came round and he didn't fancy doing the turning, so I ended up doing it myself. But that's what we've got now, we've got a truck that runs, and we've got a lot to do, so I got him to draw it. I don't know if you can see on here, but I got him to draw it out properly so that the other kids can have a go if they want. So there. I also have this. A three and a half inch gauge Juliet part completed all the bits here the drive things I do have those somebody else built this and gave up with it and I can see why because they get to the stage where they need to build the boiler and then give up and I myself having got a book on how to build boilers went whoa I don't think so so I may just take this to bits to show the kids how it works and then move it on I don't know how much it would be worth but uh, I certainly won't be completing it put it that way now remember that piston I showed you back in the workshop well here's one of its sisters what do you reckon I should do with that then Joe good isn't it apparently Somebody heard a noise from the engine and just kept driving and driving and driving after it had dropped a valve and the valve chewed through the piston and I found bits of piston in the inlet and the exhaust and just about everywhere it's a 2.2 Vauxhall petrol came out of a Frontera